So we are looking here at the very fine entry of the first Seawind 1600. And you can tell this is a 52 foot cat and that's a 45 foot cat. And you see the freeboard is also low. So this is the first produ production cat that Reichel Pugh has designed, obviously a big, big name in monohull performance and race boats. Built by Seawind, who own Corsair as well, and have a lot of multi-hull experience in the Far East. And a pretty impressive and original looking cat throughout. So it should be plenty of form stability. She's a wide boat, nearly eight meters beam. big tender space and it's a it's a production yacht but with some you know customizable options and pitched um, same sort of area as uh, Uchmer I guess in in terms of both performance and price so this is a base price 740 euros so let's look through a couple of the features I like about this. You step up to here and you can have from the helm position outboard here, a good view over that low coach roof right over the bows. And you can sit at the helm stations, either outboard in the sun or under the solid bimini here still get ventilation through there that can be um, a spray window or plastic and the cockpit can be closed off but uh, yeah twin helms you get a good sitting out position um, I think it'll appeal really to, to monohull converts as well 13 13.3 I think tons lightweight and about 14 and a half loaded up foam cord lifting rudders and cassettes so easy to remove if you damage them and easy to lift up in shoulder aft the dagger boards there are boards but they are under deck so kept out of the way of the deck again fine bows self tacking jib and I'll show you where the sheets and running rigging lead back to sheets and reefing points in the cockpit this is quite an unusual design so that winch mounted vertically there is controlling jib sheet uh, main sheet and the reefing points and they lead you can see them leading down through the jammers under the cockpit and they lead right under the cockpit and under the bridge deck uh, and back out up to the mast so they're accessible though apparently you can you know get into a dinghy and go under the hulls and uh, under the bridge deck and get access to them sheet tail ends for the Jenica can go in into storage there and a little windlass for the uh, dagger boards this particular cockpit um, has a, a coffee table. Normally that table there is larger and folding to seat more people around. At the moment for this one, it's quite a small cockpit and saloon table. But the saloon table does fold out to sit more around. Walking into the interior, I think very nice light um, both in trim and natural light uh, finish. And what uh, it, it has a good sailing boat feel to it. So what I mean by that is uh, a, good, a large size galley that with some sort of protection in the U shape there for where you're, you're working at the, at the stove. You know, you're not gonna be thrown around too much. You could wedge yourself in here 
I know it's a multi-hull, but it still, it still counts. And a big forward-facing desk come nav station there. And you can see the fan blowing through the opening part of a, a large forward-facing window. That combined with those sliding aft facing windows there means you get good through ventilation as well. Light oak veneer interior finish. And this is the owner's hull. Relatively small port lights by today's standards, but that is to do with the low freeboard as well. But they are increasing. This is the first boat. They are increasing um, a whole window size there, which should give on well, numbers three and four should give more natural light. Plenty of stowage, wardrobes in the cabins, uh, and this one, yeah, just just the owner's cabin in this hull. Heads and shower forward. I'm impressed with the standard of finish for this being a first boat. So this uh, porthole has a small double forward, a heads area and shower which wraps around the daggerboard casing. Uh, and that is shared with a twin aft and those two berths can link to become a queen double. Notice twin fans above all of the bunks, electric sockets everywhere, plenty of wardrobe space. But yeah, it's been thought out throughout the boat in a practical seaman-like fashion, it's quite impressive. So all in all, an exciting new addition to the performance in luxury end of the market. Vinna Lester foam cord boat, pedigree design, promises good speed and good speed with a full cruising payload as well.